What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video on the Texas Rangers report brought to you by Snurfield Media. And in today's video, we got a lot of things to cover regarding the Rangers farm system, a J.D. Davis trade rumor, um, a Chris Davis comeback with the Rangers, and a the Mike fulton um signing. I know you guys have been waiting for this video. So without further ado, let's get straight into things. So um, I was reading an article um, about the Rangers farm system. Um, it came out like a day ago and it said, um, I think it was by Baseball America and some other dude that covers the Rangers. It said that the Rangers have the 24th farm system throughout the entire MLB. And of course, this is all just people's opinions. And I think it's completely false. Um, I think the Rangers have an underrated farm system. Let me know what you guys think. However, I obviously don't think it's the best farm system in the league. However, I don't think it's 24th. Um, the, some of their arguments against the Rangers was that uh, not a lot of their guys are close to reaching the big leagues. And they've been hampered by a bunch of injuries. And yes, that's true. Um, we've been hampered by a bunch of injuries with like Cole Reagans, Bubba Thompson. We um, Ricky Venasco just got injured. And now he has Tommy John. We all know about the struggles with the Rangers and developing pitchers. But I think the argument against the Rangers that they're not close to big league talent is kind of false. Because... Josh Young is going to be at the big leagues this year. Sam Huff will be at the big leagues this year. Leo De Tavares will probably be starting for us. Dane Dunning will probably be a starter in the rotation. So I think it's false. I think we have some players that can contribute this year and players that will be able to contribute in 2021. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Um, I don't think they're a top farm system, but I definitely think they're maybe like the middle of the rotation and the farm um, rankings because I do like what they've been doing. The Elvis trade bolstered that farm system. The Lance Lynn trade bolstered it. The Rafael Montero trade bolstered it. The Scott Heineman trade bolstered it. So I like what they've been doing. And if they make more trades with like a Joey Gallo or Ruben Adore trade, it's just going to keep on getting better. So that's enough for the farm system. I can talk more about that in the comments. But yes, um, simple and sweet. I think they're better than the 24th farm system in all baseball. Now moving on to J.D. Davis trade rumor for the Rangers. So we all know J.D. Davis is the third baseman um, slash outfielder for the New York Mets. And apparently the Rangers, um, I saw this on Fan Sided by Nolan Ritten. The Rangers are kind of interested in J.D. Davis. Um, at first I was like, okay, this could be interesting. Um, J.D. Davis has a good bat. He's not really a, the best defensive player. Um, he's a little versatile as he plays third and left field. However, I don't think the Rangers should make this deal. We all know, I've been talking about this a lot. Josh Young will be up, um, at the major leagues around the all-star break. That's the consensus. Um, if everything goes right, he has a good season at AAA and he stays healthy. Um, so... Why would the Rangers maybe trade like Jose Leclerc or some of their top prospects to get J.D. Davis? Because, I mean, he does have team control, I think, until like 2025. Um, but I think with this move, I think that means that the Rangers are kind of banking on trading um, Joey Gallo or um, David Dahl doesn't work out. I think that's kind of what they're thinking because, like, if... Once you call up Young, like, where are you going to put J.D. Davis? Like, he doesn't play second base. Like, maybe he could, but I don't think so. Uh, and the only other place he plays is the outfield. And that's um, being covered by David Dahl, Leo De Tavares, and um, Joey Gallo. So, are the Rangers trying to trade Joey Gallo? Do they um, not uh, think David Dahl will get back to his all-star caliber? Or... Do they not plan Leo De Tavares starting in um, 2021? But even if Tavares doesn't start, he'll eventually um, be called up um, later this year. So it's either the David Dahl or the Joey Gallo one. Because if you're getting J.D. Davis, it's not just 
for this year. You're having him for multiple years. So I don't think a J.D. Davis is the best thing for the Rangers, especially since he's the Mets starting third baseman right now. And the Rangers um, would have to give up some good prospects or some good major league talent for him. So I think the Rangers should just probably sign a stopgap player like Marwin Gonzalez or trade for Matt Carpenter. I talked about that in my last video. If you want to go check that out, that's enough for the J.D. Davis talk. Now time to move on to Chris Davis. We all know Chris Davis was one of the better sluggers in the MLB back around 2017-2018. Uh, he always likes to crush Rangers pitching. He was a tyrant in Globe Life Park. He just liked to mash there. But um, he's had down years in 2019 and 2020. Chris Davis said he's ready for a comeback. And that doesn't mean too much until he actually proves it on the field. Although he did say that in 2020, one of the reasons he had um, a down year was because everything that was going on in the world kind of messed with his mental game. And as an athlete myself, I run track and cross country. So it's not like baseball, but still as an athlete, having the right mental mindset um, it either sets you, sets you up for success or failure. If he didn't have the right mindset going in, um, that ruined him from the start. So if he's able to change that mindset, maybe we can get 70% of the player he was in um, 2018. And that'd be pretty good because then he can platoon with Willie Calhoun at the DH spot. The Rangers would have a pretty good um, platoon for the DH and then maybe we could trade him at the all-star break for more prospects and then we can build that farm system even more. So do I think he'll make a comeback? No, not to what he was doing back in 2017 and 2018. Do I think he'll be better than he was in 2020? Yes. But like I'm saying, um, we just got to see how he does in spring training. And then that's how the Rangers will make their decision. Now going to the last topic on this list, the Rangers have officially signed Mike fulton I've held off on this topic for a while because um, I've been waiting for the signing to become official, and now it has. So here it is. The Rangers signed Mike fulton a former All-Star back in 2018 with the Atlanta Braves. He was the ace of the staff. In order to make room for him on the roster, the Rangers designated outfielder Adolis Garcia for assignment. That... um. Designating him doesn't mean too much for the Rangers. We didn't really lose that much. So what do we get back in Fulton Um In 2019, he kind of regressed from his all-star form. And in 2020, it got worse. His velocity went down. He started one game in 2020, and then the Braves designated him for assignment. However, all the reports have said that he looks in better shape. His velocity is up. So you never know. Maybe he can get back to his 2018 form. I I don't expect him to be an all-star, but maybe if he can be a solid mid-rotation guy, that'd be good. But knowing the what the Rangers have in their rotation, if he's a solid mid-rotation guy, he'll probably be the ace of the staff. When I first heard that the Rangers signed um, Mike fulton I wasn't too happy, but knowing that he looks in better shape, and his velocity is up, that's good to hear because that means he's on the right track to get back to what he was in 2018. And he does have club control for one more season after the 2020 season. So we get him for 2021 and 2022. The Rangers have said that they want to use him as a starter. You could use him as a long reliever as well if one of the, if one of the prospects gets caught up and does well or you need a long reliever, or if Mike fulton which doesn't do well in the rotation, and it's better to slide him back in the bullpen. So I want to hear what you guys have to say about everything, what you think of the Rangers farm system, what you think of the J.D. Davis trade, um, what you think of a Chris Davis comeback, and what you think of the latest Mike fulton which signing. That's all I have for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, Please subscribe to the channel because I am posting Texas Rangers content solely three times a week for you guys. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.